stamp sets, any paper that you've got. Let's see if I can straighten up. And if you are interested in shopping, there's the shopping link. It is bit.ly, so B-I-T dot L-Y slash shop with just stamp. You can um, shop there, get any of the items that you see me using today, or if you have any questions about them, please ask. All right, so let's see. I am going to be sharing with you a technique called a shutter card or shutter style. So this card, I'm not gonna show you the card yet. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I'm using. Yikes, I am using a Zany Zoo, which is an adorable stamp set with zany critters that have all kinds of talents. And there's the little dancing uh, leopard, the singing turtle, the knitting llama, the little sightseeing skunk, the celebrating raccoon and the bicycling alligator or crocodile, not sure. So those are the little critters in the stamp set. There's also some um, small background stamps and some great sentiments for the cards that we need. Now this stamp set has the coordinating dies called Zany Zoo dies. I'm gonna open it up for you. And the nice thing about these dies, and you will see some of my dies are missing. These are accessories. So there's balloons for celebrations, clouds and flowers, trees, a little vase for flowers, a banner, and an edge, a scalloped edging and a little drawback curtain. So a little stool for performing. Those are the accessory dies. The cool thing is that there are more dies that coordinate with the paper. So this is a suite. As I said, these little critters are very talented. So on one sheet of paper, these little critters have um, baking skills, they've got yoga skills, painting skills. I've kind of cut off the llama. There's our knitting llama. And of course, got a back side to it, some nice squiggly black and white. There are also very active critters. So we've got our vest, our fox on a Vespa, bunny on a scooter, the alligator on the bike, and there's also a couple of, somebody's on roller skates, I can't remember who that is. On the back side, we've got like a chevron pattern. This paper is just adorable. Remember, it's on sale. We have the musical critters. So we have the bear with the accordion and the singing turtle, that frog playing the flute, a little beaver on bongos, and a, uh, who is that? A pumba? Help me out here. Uh, the pumba on the, it's a four string, like a um, banjo maybe. Okay, so the back side is dotted. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that. Hello, Debbie. And again, there's our critters, our critters in movement. So there's the, I don't, like a big bird, ostrich maybe on roller skates and a unicycling aardvark. Very cute, all these critters. Then we have the dancing critters. We have a dancing hippo. Let me move some of them out of the way so it's not too busy. We have a dancing hippo, the dancing jaguar, a little, what's that, like an ocelot? And the lamb, the reindeer, all the little dancers. We have critters that like to go camping. So we've got the lion at the fire pit. Again, the skunk sightseeing. We've got, oh, somebody photographing, the photographer. Who is, what is that? Kind of like a badger, I think. And then we've got the backpacking piggy and the backside cute little flowers. This paper is just too fun. We've got the celebrating critters. We've got the little koala that can juggle, the um, armadillo with a gift, the partying dog, that raccoon with the balloons, and the elephant with the banner. All super cute. And there's more. So let's look at the dies we have in the sets. These dies will cut from the paper and I'm gonna be doing that for my project today. So on this particular sheet, we've got the raccoon with the balloons. So we have a die that will cut 
that. We have a die that will cut. Let me see if I can keep this straight. We've got a die that will cut the little skunk. So let's see. Is that right? Yeah, the skunk with his binoculars and a little birdie. And we have a die that will cut that dancing jaguar. And let's see. Oh dear, where is that? Is this it here? There we go. So we've got a ballerina there. And I should have been putting these aside so I don't get confused. There we go. All right. And then we've got on this sheet, we have the singing tortoise. There you go. Easily cuts out. And on this sheet, we have the cycling alligator that will get cut from the paper. So makes it so easy to use that paper in your designs. No fussy cutting on them. You could all also fussy cut any of the other critters on that. So it's just adorable paper. And that's what we're going to be using on our project today. So let me take it away and say I'm going to use these two sheets. And here's the deal. I'm going to be using that alligator, but I'm also going to be using the backside. And, and for those of you who have trouble cutting your DSP, I'm telling you, this one's really difficult for me to cut when I want that back pattern. And I feel like these little critters are going to be lost, but we'll have more. And remember, paper's on sale, so you can buy an extra pack. Okay, so let's get started with this design. What we will need for the design, of course, is a card base. And I've selected basic black for my card base. And it's standard size, so eight and a half by five and a half, scored right down the middle at four and a quarter. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that so I can put it aside for now. I'm using my bone folder to get that nice crisp fold. And we also need a cardstock piece that measures about three and three quarters by five. So this will not be seen. This is a great time to use up any um, marred paper, any paper colors that you don't like, any re retired colored papers that you're not gonna be using. We're, this is gonna be completely covered. So all we need is the nice, stable, thick cardstock. I think this is um, so saffron. Then we need quarter inch strips, and I chose basic black for my design. Quarter inch, they probably measure about four, five inches. Hello, Debbie. And then I need one two and a quarter inch square, and I've picked white. You could pick any color that you like. You're gonna see on my design what I mean by that. And then I've got some scraps. So I picked different patterns from the Zoo Crew paper, of course, on the other side of the little critters, which makes it really hard to cut, but that's okay, we're gonna have more. So let's start with the technique. We are going to be creating the background of our card, and the first step is to take that two and a quarter inch square, and I'm gonna flat it here right to the middle of this three and a quarter by five inch card base. I remember I learned this technique just this week from a fellow demonstrator and I have already seen so many fun examples using this pattern. So flat adhesive, not too much. Let's see, not too much adhesive. I'm gonna bring in my mat, my silicone mat, just because I don't wanna get everything sticky. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in the center. So if you have a question, go ahead and post it. Basic white, two and a quarter inch square right in the center. Okay, now we're going to start creating that shutter effect. And I'm going to take my my favorite adhesive, the liquid glue, and I'm going to come down and put just a small little trail of glue. I'm going to take my quarter inch strip of basic black and abut it right to that two and a quarter inch square, just like so. 
Now be careful that you don't get sticky fingers. I'm going to rot rotate this and I'm going to attach another quarter inch strip. Whoops, a little bit too much glue coming out there. And again, I'm going to abut this right to the edge here. Okay, right to the edge of that two and a quarter inch square and it goes all the way down. I'm going to rotate it again and I'm going to apply glue and again this is a but and the top is abutted to the previous strip and then this just goes edge to edge all the way down and one last quarter inch strip so the glue goes all the way down and just a little bit so it's not oozing out from behind and I'm gonna butt right there, right at the top, and there. Okay, so right now, it doesn't look like much, right? I am gonna snip off these ends. So I'm just gonna flip it over and trim these off. Now you're gonna see, when you choose to do this design, you could make your card base bigger, or you could make it smaller. Kind of depends on what you're after when you're designing your card. All right, so there we go. I have my shutter that's in the center. Now what I'm gonna do is take the designer series paper and we're going to adhere this right along the edges of the quarter inch strips. So I like to take my adhesive and put it right on that card stock and again, not a lot. And I'm going to take the corner there and I'm going to butt it right to the corner there. And I'll butt it nice and tight. So you can see this is perfect for scraps. You need about oh, two and a half inches by maybe four inches of a scrap, maybe even smaller. I've, I've got longer pieces here, but look what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to trim it off. And here's what I'm saying. Oh, it's heartbreaking to cut these little critters, right? But, okay, so we're just gonna have to chop it because the paper is meant to be used. And I love the black and white patterns. There we go. So I'm gonna set this aside. Now look, I still have the fox and the, the alligator and the bunny I could cut from that portion, so no worries. Okay, so now, let's see, on the smaller one, and here's my choice. I'm using these patterns. So I think I'm gonna put this, the ones that have a little bit more white to the sides. And what do you think? I think I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat, just like I did with that chevron pattern. And again, you don't wanna to put too much glue. So, all right, how are we doing? Is everybody following? Any questions? I know. Pretty simple, right? It's very cool. I love this pattern. And stick with me till the end because I'm going to show you some alternatives I have been crafting. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and add this other one. Now, that one, this little piece probably measures, it's one and three quarters, so that's a little bit narrow, but I can use use it going the other direction. So if you're like me and you like to save your scraps, here is a great way to use them. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and abut this right in there and just put it right flush to that quarter inch strip. There we go. And I'm gonna trim that off only so it's not awkward when I'm handling it. So again, I'm going to trim and I'm just using the scrap, the background scrap, which in my case is so saffron. I'm just using that as my guide. Just like so. Okay. I'm going to try and tidy up as I go. All right. So. All right. All right. Hello, Sonia. Thank you for sharing, by the way. I just noticed. I appreciate that. I always love it when the videos get passed around so that everybody gets to see the project ideas. 
Okay, so I'm just cutting this here. And hello, Debbie Envoy. All right, here we go. And I have one more panel up here. I'm going to use that little um, scalloped line area. So that's going to go up at the top. I'm going to flip that around. So, all right. And let's see if I want this to be the lower right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring it right up in here and abut it right there. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip and do the same. And I'm going to trim that off. So this is a shutter paper piecing card. All right. Now, there is my background. Looks pretty fun, doesn't it? I love this. So lots of pattern pieces. Now, if you want, if you're obsessive, you can go ahead and put this to your paper trimmer. I think I bit, I did an adequate job of trimming that straight. I don't need to trim it. I'm going to do that. There's my background. So yeah, this is the important piece. So Debbie asks, what are the dimensions of the white piece? So this is the center piece and that's the critical size. It's two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Now, once you start playing with your own design, you could probably vary that a little bit, but this is going to be a nice focal point for the particular card I'm making. So I've still got more scraps that I'm going to be able to use. No need to toss it. Like I said, this is perfect for, you're welcome, Debbie. This is perfect for all those scraps that we use. Now I've got my card base. I've got my background. It's time to decorate. So this is actually going to be going on here, but I'm going to build my card still. Now, in my particular case, I am going to be using that little cycling alligator. And I want to trim that out. Remember, I said this one has a die. Now let's see what I did with it. It's got a die, but this is designer series paper weight. So what I'm going to do is back it on to some black paper. It's gonna make it more stable. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that here. So I have a nice stable image, kind of like it being on cardstock. You could stamp this because the alligator is actually one of the stamps in this set. And I don't need to fussy cut because I've got a die. Let me bring in my mini. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that there. And I'm going to take a <laughs> take a break, take a sip of my carob cocktail. And if you missed the beginning, of today's live. I discussed my cocktail of the day. It's a carob cocktail created from the recipe for my deck of cards that I bought on my Norwegian cruise. So nice little souvenir that's going to keep on giving. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and die cut this and let's see, do I need tape? I'm going to hold my breath. That's a Tammy Shea strategy. Hold my breath and crank. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a nice stable alligator, crocodile. Maybe we'll call him Lyle. Lyle, Lyle, crocodile. So I'm going to call him a crocodile. And I know there's a difference, but I don't know what the difference is. So. There we go. Now I'm going to do one more die cut because I like to do the shadow technique with some of these cuts. So I'm going to cut a second black shadow, same die, and it's just going to be offset. So just like this. No stamping, just 
a basic black shadow. There we go. And I want that and that. I can put my pads away. Okay, and somebody did mention one of my other favorite critters from this set. So there is the party critters. Look at that puppy who is just having a good old time with the party streamers and all. I love that one because, of course, it's a dog, right? The armadillo is pretty cute, too. And look at the juggling koala. Super cute. And although there are no dies for these critters, you could use, like, your stylish shapes to do circle cuts, which I have. I'm not letting any of these go to waste. Here's what I mean. You can die cut those on a circle and use them on a card. So easy. Super cute. All right. So Lyle Lyle Crocodile is ready to go. And what I'm going to do, bring back my card front. And as I said, the second die cut is just going to be like a shadow. So sometimes we do that with text or with type. We do that little sh um, outline shadow and kind of offset it a tiny bit. And so what I'm going to do, ah, before I adhere it though, I want to add some color to this bicycle. So I'm going to take my smoky slate, my pen tip, and I'm just going to add some color to the tires. Not a lot because he's already super cute. And that, uh, let's see, what green is this? I'm not sure what green it is. It's not parakeet party. What is it? Anybody help me out? What green? It's not granny apple. Okay, so I also want to do his little black seat. He's got a cute little basket, maybe the little petals. And let's see if I have, oh, I, I think his bike would be cool in pool party. Let me grab my pool party. I don't have it out. Just a sec. All right, and I'm just gonna do the, oops, I'm gonna use my pen tip though. Just the frame in pool party. It's like so, there we go. Okay, so now I'm happier with that. All right, so uh -huh. now I'm going to go ahead and add my offset shadow and I'm gonna just add this here. Now on, when I, uh, back to the DSP. I just went ahead and secured it first. It's easier that way. But to offset it, I need to do a little bit. And let me, I should have done this first. I'm going to need a little bit more glue on that tail. It's a nice alligator tail. Okay, so let's see if I can shift that in position. And again, I just want to offset it a tiny bit. There we go. And I'm going to flip that over and press firmly so it's attached. I think it is Lemon Lime Twist. Thank you, Pam. I, I love Lemon Lime Twist. Again, one of my nice, my favorite colors. I, I had to grow to love Parakeet Party. Lemon Lime Twist was, since it's returned, I already knew I liked it, so. All right, so we are going to add Lyle Lyle Crocodile to our front. And because I've backed him on black, I'm gonna bring in my black stamp and dimensionals. And I'm also gonna figure out where I wanna put my greeting. So I have pre-die cut the little banner that comes in this die set. And if I put him down here, and I'm gonna stamp it with the birthday greeting because you can never have enough birthday cards, right? That is probably my number one needed card. I'm gonna move this over just a tiny bit. That and the thank yous, which I should send more of. Okay, so it's gonna go right in the center. 
pressing firmly. Happy birthday to you. Again, this die cut comes in the Zany Zoo die set. And um, the stamp, of course, is from the set as well. Let's go ahead and put our dimensionals on the back. And I'm gonna give it lots of support. Now, hmm, I think I wanna add a little bit of something to that banner. So let me bring one in. I'm gonna grab my ribbon dual pack. There is some pretty cute ribbon in here. It's got little stitching in it. And I think I'm gonna use both of them actually. So there's two colors and lemon line twist and I'm not sure what the other one is. Is it the pretty in pink or petal pink? <laughs> Look at, whoa, that was a flashback, pretty in pink. Um, I am going to trim that up. Hang on here, let me figure out what I'm doing. And, All right, so if I want these a little bit longer, it's a good thing I didn't cut them. I'm gonna want them to extend all the way back. So you'll see from there, flip it around, and I need it to about here. So I can go ahead and trim those up and cut. There we go. And once again, let me fold those back. Right like that. <laughs> I love this paper. Remember, it is on sale. And folding back. I have comments, a text coming in. It's kind of hard to answer to a text when I'm on, on live. Um, so here we go. All right, now I'm going to use my stapler and just, oops. Staple this. Let me give this another try. And flip it around. There we go. I'm trying to hold it in place here while I staple. There we go. Yikes. There we go. And, oops. I'm gonna have to put some glue dots there because it didn't quite punch. Let's see, oops, there we go. I'm looking for my take your pick tool all the time. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna put some glue dots here to keep it in place. there and I'm just trying to keep that there all right so I'm also going to step on it with some dimensionals and because this one's white I'm going to pull out my white dimensionals put that down right on the ribbon and again and again okay there we go and <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear my my puppies. All right, I'm going to put the about that right to the edge here. And it looks a little bit messy. I'm going to be doing some trimming and I'm ready to Adhere my Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Right through here. And, oops, I thought I was doing pretty good on time. I'm, all right, now I'm just gonna go and, he's doing a little bit of racing, so he's slightly askew. Let me trim up that ribbon 
and let's see. Whoops. Well, no, those are the right scissors. I've got my ribbon scissors there. And I like them a little bit different lengths, so they show. This ribbon is really sweet. I love the dual colors. I know I'm going to be getting lots of lots of this ribbon. I like the width of it, and it's really soft and easy to work with. So, so fun. And there we go. All right, I am ready to put that onto my card, just like so. I'm liking this little happy birthday card. And do you think this looks like a kid's card? Because I would easily give it to an adult, but maybe that's just my personality. I like the little zany cards. I don't know <laughs> I would give it to my mom, um, but I think it's suitable for kids and adults, men, boys, women, girls, any anyone would love this card, right? Happy birthday to you. All right, there's a Lyle Lyle Crocodile. Happy birthday card using that shutter technique. I am just loving this whole pattern. And let me share with you some of the other cards that I've been creating. All right, let me straighten up here. I get, I get uh, a little excited and get really messy. So there's... Zany Zoo. I'm going to stick with the Zany Zoo animals. And remember, there is a paper sale going on. So this card, a little more girly. You're too wonderful. There's that dancing jaguar. I used a bubble bath. And this is the coolest paper here. I'm going to share with you what it is in just a second. I'm using the Bright and Beautiful paper, which is a must-have in my opinion. It is great celebration paper. You've got stripes. On the flip side, you've got stars. I think that's in Lemon Lolly. You've got more stripes, like an ombre stripe, diagonal stripes. I love the color. So you have a nice watercolor stripe and some triangles, bubble bath, dots and spots, lemon lolly stripes, and I don't know what you call stitching, some sort. There is the lemon lime twist, and oh, that's the opposite. Oops, I messed up. All right, so then we've got, I think that's pretty peacock in stripes, and some Lemon line twist circles, some zigzags and multicolors, and Lost Lagoon stripes, some stars, and navy. This just goes on. This paper is too much fun. There's so much celebration that's going on. It'd be great for graduation, birthdays, any kind of celebration. So lots of confetti. There's the azure blue, some stars, and all the multicolors. Berry, there's berry burst as well, another one of my favorite colors. There's the, I'm not sure if that's blueberry bushel. And then of course there's the smaller stripe and the berry burst. All right, so that's what I used for this card. Remember, you get to use all the scraps, which is what I love. I used the labels from the new nested dies. So the bubble bath and the white come from that set and this paper here, that shimmer paper, let me share with you. This goes so nicely with this paper pack. And I wish I could remember the price of this paper. You get, these are 12 by 12, and you get five sheets in this sparkly paper. So here we go. There's bubble bath. And you also get a, let's see, night and navy. Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, and Lost Lagoon. So I'm not sure if it's showing up there. So fun to make those little quarter inch strips out of the shimmer paper. So this is called Soft Shimmer. It's a nice weight. It's not going to be like a glitter effect. It's nice and flat, so it's not going to shed. So that's that card. And of course, I couldn't stop there. I went with Pretty Peacock. Here's another happy birthday card using that celebrating raccoon. And I did color him. He's straight off the paper. I did color him with gray granite and some dark smoky slate. 
and I use that sh uh, shimmer paper again in the uh, Pretty Peacock. Same paper. There you go. So that paper is so fun. I hope that you like this template and that you're going to try using it because as I said, this will work with almost any paper, any coordinating paper, which Stampin' Up! does best, right? And your focal point can be straight off of DSP or it could be a stamped image, a little greeting, and your card is ready to go. So what do you think? What's your favorite? Do you like the crocodile? Do you like that little ballerina? Oh, I did color the skirt too. Uh, bubble bath to coordinate with the background. And then there's the raccoon. So uh, all the critters are so fun. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate that. Oh, give it a try. Let me know how it works out for you. Now, if you have any more questions about what I used or you want me to help you with an order, I would love to do that for you. You can uh, purchase the DSP of 50% savings through the end of the month. You are going to want to switch over and join me next Thursday for the buy one, get one sale where I will be gifting all of my retired stamps, ribbons, paper, inks, punches, all kinds of things um, for your orders. Oh, the black and white. Who said that? Let's see. <laughs> Debbie, you know, I think... I do like the black and white. I do like the color too. And I think this is great for a little girl who might be taking ballerina lessons. I think the pretty peacock is awesome for anybody's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> I am so glad that you're going to give it a try, Debbie. Debbie says she likes the ballerina. All right, my friends. I am still prepping for tomorrow's event. It is the team time event. My favorite event of the month where the Stamparistas join together for some chatting, some stamping, some prizes, and some recognition. I've got lots to share as well. Um, and I will be posting the cards that we're making, and hopefully I'll get around to posting the swaps and any other displays from our team gathering. Why don't you join me? Sign up with your starter kit and become a Stamparista and start being a smart shopper. Go back and get more. Don't stop with just the $99. Yeah. All right, my friends. I will see you. I haven't decided yet. Oh, next Thursday. And fingers crossed, I can do a happy hour on Friday as well. But I do have lots of events coming up as well. So be on the lookout in your mailbox for dates and times and what you can join me with or join me for. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to share the video. If you came in late, you can, you're going to be able to watch the replay here or over on YouTube. If you had to leave early, of course, you can let a friend know about the class as well. I will see you Thursday. Thank you.